Hey everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7 Patch Notes. Today is like a mini Christmas. It's kind of like Christmas Eve, or maybe even worse than that. Maybe it's like Easter, you know? Like we don't really have much, but we've got something worthwhile. And that thing that's worthwhile is Lilibet right here. She is an Earth Warrior. She's been in the journal already for a little while. We already know this. Um, I, I like her Scissors of Fury specialty. She cuts everything in any shape she wants. Uh, my favorite part about her design is actually the heart in her ribbon there. I just think that's the coolest thing. Um, as for her abilities, again, she's already in the journal. She has been for a while. You've probably already seen the animations. They're 10 out of 10. Um, number one has a 50% chance to make a target unable to be buffed for two turns. Number two has a 50% chance to land four bleeds and um, does additional damage when the target isn't buffed. Kind of combos with her first skill, which is awesome. And also, from what I understand, each bleed has a different chance. So you'll get anywhere from zero to four. Um, you won't get four or zero, if that makes sense. So um, a lot of people weren't sure if this was going to be a 50% chance four times in a row um, or one 50% chance to land all four or zero. And it's definitely one at a time, which is awesome. Um, and her skill three slashes the enemy with Cho and Mal. Inflicting Extinction, and the Soul Burn is an uh, increased damage dealt. Your way to handle ML Vildred, we hope, and um, whatever else comes our way when it comes to stuff like Resurrection. Um, I'm not sure about her right now. I'm still undecided. I'm going to pull for her right after I make this video, I think, and I'm probably going to start the stream in like half an hour from when this video is live. But uh, I'm pretty happy. I do hope I get this artifact. I really do. I think this artifact is pretty solid, especially for a warrior. There's so many warriors that just don't get what you need from a regular warrior artifact. Like, you don't get too much from Sigurds. You don't get too much from um, Uberus's Tooth. But uh, Durandal's kind of what you go to. And there's probably some units that I would just love to have her, their skill 3 up multiple times just for some RNG. I don't know who. Like, maybe Kitty Clarissa because that would just be fun. To do that two turns in a row, although probably not the greatest. But there's going to be somebody who wants to use this, and that's exciting. Uh, we also have the side story coming up. Yes, you want to farm this. These as all the rewards. Um, now you farm everything. Uh, it pretty much doesn't matter what's on the 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 drop table. <laughs> like, what, what you can get in the actual stages now. You pretty much farm everything now because of the Alchemist Steeple. Um, so that means I'm going to be getting Rengar student IDs, I'm going to get Dreamtime circlets, circuits, I'm going to get Mysterious Flashes, I'm going to get the Seed, the Phantasm. I'm probably going to skip the runes now. Um, I'm going to get the Bookmarks, the Penguin, the Artifact Charm. So basically every single thing except maybe the runes now. And if there is an Epic Catalyst, I will farm the runes as well. Uh, three Transmit Stones, yay! I still wish one day this is going to turn into one gold and I'll be so happy. And that's literally it. There's nothing else, which is okay. It's okay to have patches like this. This is still a lot of content. I'm still happy with it. Just we're kind of waiting for that Mulagora refund. We're kind of waiting for all of the things. We're still waiting for Hell Raid bosses, you know? So um, we, we just need a little more, and I hope it's coming soon. But there are 174,641 accounts banned so far, which is pretty exciting. Uh, there's a lot of hacking. There's a lot of ban... Or a lot of... Um, cheating, old school, cheatomatic style cheating. There's a lot of all that stuff going on right now, and um, I'm hoping they catch everybody. I don't think this is everybody, but I'm sure they'll catch them. And a lot of people might say, but X and so-and-so is level 37 and completed the tower, and they're still there. Um, just because they're on the tower list in the top 100 doesn't mean they're not banned. Um, they might find a way to prune those names that are banned. But for now, um, all the people that are banned are still in there. If you're curious, you can match somebody up. They do have the Excel file. Um, these are all basically re-rolls, I would say. You know, like they all have the Epic 7 number sign, blah, 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 sort of thing. So um, kind of expected. I was hoping to see some juicy names in there, you know, like see somebody we know from um, Guild Wars. Uh, and I was hoping they they would get banned, you know, like there's always, it's always fun when something like that happens. And you're like, that's how you beat my Guild War defense. It's not because I suck, but nope, 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 I just suck. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I will be summoning for a little bit. As for whether or not you should, I probably should have answered that earlier. No idea yet. Give us a day or two. Let us see how it feels. But I can 
put money down that one of the future units is going to be an ML with like AoE extinction. So um, here's here's to hoping Lilbeth is good enough for now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. As always, feel free to hit that notification bell as always too. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.